I'm Franklin, and this is a look at the month of March for Sagittarius. Your best days in March are going to be the 13th, 14th, and 15th. This is when the moon will be in Sagittarius, and this is when you are at high tide. When the moon sign, or your ruling planet, Jupiter, passes through Sagittarius, we all search for our next goal that will keep us sharp enough to climb our mountain because we know that practice makes perfect. Now here's a look at March for the fire sign Sagittarius. And we'll begin with Sagittarius in love. In the first week of the month, when anything has served its purpose in your life, it's time to let it go. And a relationship has reached this point and now needs to be released. In week number two, one goes out and another takes their place, and this one will be much better at showing their appreciation for you. In week number three, no soul can learn it all or do it all in any one lifetime, so be patient with yourself, your mate, and your relationship learning curve. In week number four, you receive a gift from an unknown source, just as if you deserved it. So now you will have to do something for someone else to even the scales. Now here's a look at March in your work life. In week number one, don't cry over spilled milk or co-workers changing loyalty because the ones who are left can take you over the bridge that connects to a brighter future. In week number two, the moment of meeting for student and mentor is magical and changes the future. So take full advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity. In week number three, a coworker or client asks you to bend the rules for them and you know better. So you'll have to find a way to please everyone, including your own conscience. In week number four, you get what you're willing to ask for in the form of a raise, promotion, or new responsibilities that can prove your worth to those who are in charge. Now, here's a look at March in your finances. In week number one, those who have intuition will have a need for it in their life. Those who face tough decisions find a use for their spirit guides if they're willing to use the signs and the omens that are presented to them. In week number two, you receive advice from an expert and the way to thank them and the way to thank your spirit guides is to put their advice to use. In week number three, the smallest details can foul your progress. So it's a good idea to double check all paperwork and don't leave anything to chance right now. In week number four, anything free needs to be checked on for any strings that could be attached and come back to haunt you in the future. And that's a look at your days in March. This is according to your sun sign. Now here's a look at your nights in March according to moon sign. In week number one, the week of the first quarter of the moon, this moon rises in Gemini. So the dreams and the visions that come this week are about change. And uh, these changes are coming soon to those that you care about most. In week number two, the week of the full moon that rises in Virgo, the dreams and the visions that come now give you a second chance to learn from the experiences that you had in the past, but at that time missed the karmic point of. In week number three, the week of the last quarter of the moon, it rises in Sagittarius. So the dreams and the visions that come now are a warning to have patience and not leap before you look. In week number four, the week of the new moon that will rise in Pisces, the dreams and the visions that come now show you the invisible trail to the spirit world. 
when they can only be seen in the darkness of the new moon. So the unseen will become visible to you. And that's a look at March for the fire sign Sagittarius. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.